I'm Eugene with Diacon. We manufacture a number of our own sensors, including our wind sensor. This wind sensor combines both uh, wind direction and wind speed in a single instrument. There are lots of wind sensors on the market. Ours differs in a number of very significant ways. One is uh, we use a magnetic direction sensor for the wind direction. This uh, ensures that uh, we have a long life. Most wind direction sensors use a potentiometer. Potentiometers consist of a resistive band that starts out at a low resistance and goes to a high resistance. And so by measuring the value of that resistance, the instrument knows what direction the wind is blowing. The drawback to that is you have a transition from the low resistance to the high resistance. So all wind sensors that use a potentiometer have a dead zone. That dead zone can vary from a, a few degrees to up to five degrees depending on the, on the sophistication of the potentiometer that's used. In this case, with the magnetic sensor, we have no dead spots. We also don't have a wear component. The advantage of no dead spots is we can orient digitally the north in any direction after the instrument has been mounted. The anemometer is a three-cup anemometer. Yeah, the advantages of this design over others is that we use ceramic bearings rather than uh, stainless steel bearings. We also have a, a very robust axle. The wind sensor can handle very significant impacts. On our website you'll find some videos that show how uh, during some initial development phases I had this mounted on my vehicle and actually swiped it off on the top of my garage and other structures um, and uh, replaced the cups and the unit was back in service. Another very significant advantage of our wind sensor is it's a smart sensor. Instead of just providing analog output or a frequency output, we're actually providing measured data on the Modbus port. The wind sensor is active and running continuously to monitor the wind direction and wind speed. We leverage that capability to actually do some calculations on board the sensor itself. So not only do we provide you with current wind speed and wind direction, but we also provide two minute average of wind direction and wind speed, a 10 minute average of wind direction and wind speed, and we do a real-time gust detection. So the sensor itself is monitoring the wind. It's keeping a rolling average of the two-minute wind speed. And any time there's a nine-knot increase in that wind speed, then we populate the gust registers. Those gust values are held for 10 minutes. If another gust comes along that exceeds that, it replaces the previous one. And each of those gust values has a 10-minute life so that uh, those values are accessible to the automation system or to the weather station for that period of time. The wind sensor can be mounted uh, directly onto a three-quarter inch pipe, such as this test stand we have here. The uh, diameter is the same as a one-inch pipe, so standard uh, structural pipe fittings can be used to mount the weather station to one-inch pipes. If you have any questions, give us a call.